to this tutorial featuring Shotcut and Glaxomate. Okay, so let's start. In Shotcut, select Open Other Animation. Leave the defaults, unless you plan on making an animation longer than 5 seconds. I don't, so there's no need to change that. Glaxomate will open with a canvas the same size as the Shotcut project. For me, that's normally 1920 by 1080 p Click the Bezier tool on the left. Make sure layer and stroke are selected and that fill is blank. Once that's done, move over to the stroke options and set the color and style. In my case, I have the line set to 10 pixels wide, so I also need to set the corner join to 10 pixels. That keeps the corners perfectly sharp. And you will notice my eyes aren't the best, so I like to zoom on the canvas a lot. Although, without a horizontal scroll bar, I think most of us are going to be in that situation. Now, go back to the canvas and double click at your desired start point. For me, that's top left. Select Edit Bezier. Now, come back down and start the recording process. This is important since we're about to start our animated line. Come back over to Add Node and select it. Then go back to the first node and when it changes to blue, with the circle inside the diamond, single click and it should turn yellow. Now come down and adjust the keyframe target slider. I want the line to animate for 33 frames, so that's where I'll set it. Back to the busier line again. So now you can click, hold and drag. And when you're happy with the placement, release the mouse to set the line position. Currently, unfortunately, control does not constrain the line to 90 degree increments but it is supposed to, but for now, you will have to use a combination of zoom and eyeballing. Okay, so now it's just a process of rinse and repeat. Now add another node, and remember, click when the blue circle is directly inside the diamond. Come back down and change keyframes to 55. Back to the node and drag the line. Release when you're happy. Back up to add another node. And back down, change keyframes to 88, and back to the node, drag the line and release. Add another node. Back down and change keyframes to 110. This time I had to zoom in on the final node to make sure the alignment was correct because I'm now joining the intersection of two corners. Alright, looks pretty good. So, now turn off recording and play the animation to make sure it works as intended. Hopefully it has. If that's the case, you can save and now go back to Shotcut. You should see the result of your work in the preview window. Ah, yes, there we go. That looks pretty good. And there you have it folks. How to draw a box with Glaxomate. And that's all I have for you today. Stay safe. Bye bye.